So we've got a list of sports fixtures and we know the results from each fixture. Now we're looking to do some analysis. So we need to know uh, for each team, how many games have they won and lost? How many points do they have? And then eventually we're looking to translate all of that into a league table. Now that's a lot of stuff to do. And when I see people working with Excel, often problems come from trying to do too much in one step. So an important thing to do is to take, take a step back and try to break down the task into small logical steps that are achievable and then putting all of those together. That's the best way to get things done. So let's take a look at the spreadsheet. Now, I've uh, got my data here, and this data is from the 2015 to 2016 Premier League season. I've got the whole season's data here, all of the results. I'm gonna do my analysis on this data and then present a league table that should hopefully look like uh, the 2016 uh, Premier League table. Uh, but I'm gonna need some other sheets to do that. There's no point just looking at the data and thinking, right, I want a league table. There's uh, steps to go through uh, to get us there. And to do that, I've introduced a collation sheet here. So we're gonna collate uh, the analysis here, work out uh, for each team, how many wins, draws, losses, goal difference, etc. And on this table, um, I've got the teams listed in alphabetical order. So that's a good first step uh, for your analysis. Uh, list all of the teams you've got in alphabetical order. And then I've got a third sheet that I've called uh, League Table. And this sheet uh, has some nice formatting on. And this is where we're looking to present the final analysis. You'll notice the other sheets don't have any formatting on. That's because they're background sheets. You know, the user's not going to look at those much. But this sheet, users are going to be interacting with and trying to understand. So I've got some formatting here uh, to help their understanding. So that's three sheets in total. The league table sheets, um, the collation sheets, and then to begin with, uh, the data sheet, which just has the raw data in. So what would be a sensible first step? We've got our data set, what would be a sensible first thing to do? Well, a good first step would be for each uh, fixture, trying to understand what the result of the fixture is. So translating that score, uh, nil one, two, 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 four, two, whatever it is, translating that into a win, a loss or a draw uh, for the home side, and for the away side, because you remember uh, for each fixture, uh, we're looking to log the result for the home side and for the away side, all of those results, all of that analysis is going to go into our, league, into our league table. So we need a formula that's going to help us to do that. So you might want to pause the video, have a little think, or even have a go at it yourself. What formula is going to help us to do that? Well, we can apply some logic here and a simple a logical rule we want to apply is if there's more home goals than away goals. So if there's more in column C, uh, cell C2 than in cell D2, then that's going to be a home win. That's the kind of logic we're looking for. And the if formula, the if formula is going to help us do that. This is quite complicated, though, because we haven't got two possible outcomes. That would be easy with an if formula. We've actually got three possible outcomes, uh, a home win, home loss or a draw. That does make things more complicated. It's, it's quite difficult to get your head around how to translate that into an if formula. Um, so a good tip is if it looks too complicated and you're struggling, struggling with the formula, just try to do something more simple. Make some, make some assumptions, try to do something simpler, and then that can be a good starting point. So let's do that. And let's just say, okay, if uh, there's more home goals than away goals, so if, there's, if the value in C2 is more than the value in D2, let's just get the cell to display home win. So a nice, simple, logical rule using the if formula. Let's try to do that. So equals if, firstly, the logical test. And the logical test is going to be if there's more home goals than away goals. So if C2 is more than D2, that's our logical test. So we can move on to the next component of the formula. Just hit the comma key there. And then value if true. So if there are more home goals than away goals, what do you want to happen? Well, let's just say uh, H win in there for home win. And then the final component of the formula, if um, there's fewer home goals than away goals, um, then let's just say not H win. OK, 
Okay, so we've got a nice simple if formula there, just one logical rule. And hopefully this should capture the home wins. Yeah, if there's more home goals than away goals, it should tell us it's a home win. So it's a good starting point. Let's give it, give it a test. The first one, not home win. That makes sense because there's one away goal, no home goals. I just double clicked on the square, just double clicked on the little square there in the bottom right hand corner of the cell. Double click. That's going to drag the formula down. So let's have a look at it. Yep, 4 2 is a home win. 1 0 is a home win. These are not home wins. And then down the bottom there, a home win for Swansea over Newcastle. So we've tested it. Um, that's a good start. So a problem that was really, you know, a little bit complicated, difficult to get our head around. We've suddenly got a foothold in it. We've managed to make a start. So how can we improve this formula? Because remember, we've got three possible outcomes, not just two. We've got home win, draw or away win. So how would we extend this formula to get it working for us? You might want to pause the video, try to do it yourself. Well, a good idea is to embed another if formula into this component, uh, the final component of the if formula here. So I'm just going to delete this text and open up another if formula. So we've got a formula within a formula, which is a very common idea in Excel modeling, a formula within a formula. And you'll notice when I began the if formula there, I opened and closed the brackets at the same time. That's gonna help us later when we're trying to understand how many brackets we need. If we're using multiple formulae as we are here, it's a good idea, open and close the brackets at the beginning. You're gonna avoid those difficulties uh, at the end. So we've got our second if formula here. So we're gonna need another logical rule. And our first logical rule was if there's more home goals than away goals. So what's, what's another logical rule that will help us here? If we wanted to say, describe away win in terms of logic, how would we do that? Well, we can say if uh, D2 is more than C2, that means if there's more away goals than home goals, that's going to be an away win. I'll just say a win there. And we can see from the uh, bold highlighted uh, prompt here that we're on the second part, uh, the second component of this formula. And then finally, well, what's this last component going to be? So we've got the logic for home win. We've kind of grouped all those. Now we've grouped all the away wins. What's the third possible outcome? That's going to be a draw. So we can just put draw in here. And that should have captured all the possible outcomes. That should work with all of the results. But... You know, it's quite common for things not to work with formally. So let's just hit enter and give it a test. Well, first we've got a way win there. That seems, that seems to be accurate. And then I've just copy pasted the formula down. So I'm just double clicking in the little box in the bottom right hand corner, double click, copy paste the formula down. And then, yeah, so we've got draw here, 4-2 home win, that looks right. We've got another draw here, Newcastle Southampton. Uh, nil one, that's an away win. Okay, yeah, this seems to be working well. So we've made the formula, worked out the logic, uh, embedded one if formula within another if formula and got the outcome we wanted. Seems to be working well. Uh, I'm just going to do one more thing to add completeness. You know, you don't have to do this uh, yourself, but rather than H win text appear there, I'm, I just want the contents of this cell to appear instead. Rather than A win, in text here. I want the contents of this cell to appear. And rather than draw in text, I want the contents of this cell to appear. And you'll see I'm hitting the F4 key, which makes the uh, question marks, sorry, the dollar signs appear. So the dollar signs are here indicating that it's an absolute reference. That means that when we drag the formula down, uh, that cell will still be referenced. That's the idea of an absolute reference. Um, so again, just copy paste the formula down. Um, okay, not quite right. My logic's not quite right there because I can see it's now saying this draw is a loss. So I haven't quite referenced the right cells here. Yep, so this, this one should actually be I. This one should actually be uh, H. There we go. Home loss, home draw, home win. Okay, good. Yeah, that seems to be working well. And just, just to evidence that, if I change the text in this cell here to home win, 
we can see that, that te the text is changing in the formula too. The value that the formula is returning is also changing. Okay, so this is looking good and we've got um, the home result column is working really well. So we've just got to repeat the exercise uh, for the away column. Um, so obviously we might, might be able to copy and paste the other formula to get it working, but just practice. Let's just do it again from scratch, but this time from the away perspective. So if there's more away goals than home goals, that is going to be an away win. And I'm referencing cells just outside of your screenshot, but you'll be able to see these cells on your download file. That's the away win cell. Uh, and then let's go into another, our second if formula here. And then if uh, home is more than away, that's going to be an away loss. Let's do that again. If home is more than away rather, and that's going to be away loss, absolute reference there. And if not, the final outcome is going to be draw. So an absolute reference there and then two, two close brackets at the end. And then that seems okay, let's give this a go. So away win, that seems to make sense. Away draw, away loss. You can see obviously the away results are the reverse of the home results if it's not a draw. Home loss is away win home draw, away draw. Yep, seems to be working well. Okay, so that's as far as we're gonna go in this video. We've produced uh, two uh, really nice uh, formulae there. Well, more than one formula because it's one if formula embedded into another if formula. So that can sound like quite an intimidating thing to try to do. You know, to, you've got the three different outcomes there, but it's all about simplifying the task. That's exactly what we did. Try to do something simpler, get it working for something simpler, and then go back to it and try to build in the extra bits you need to get it all working. So this seems to be going pretty well. We translated um, the results uh, into an outcome, uh, a loss, draw, or a win for the home team and the away team. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna look at how we can collate all of these losses, wins, and draws uh, into an analysis on the next sheet. I'll see you in the next video.